to be sure you're getting the most out of your retirement for all the years of your retirement? That's the primary goal of More Living with Jim Brogan and our Dollars and Cents segment, where we provide you with an important financial tip that will help positively impact the quality of your life in retirement. And now here's Jim with this week's Dollars and Cents tip. This week, I, get, I, I want to talk about a question I get asked all the time. Jim, when should I draw my Social Security income in retirement? And, of course, you know, for many of you listening, if you're certainly getting close to retirement, age 66 is the age at which you are eligible for your full retirement benefit. If you're younger, you know, certainly in your 50s, um, you know, it might be sometimes somewhere between age 66 and 67. But let's just talk about age 66 if you're on the cusp of retirement. Uh, you know, that's the age at which you can draw your full benefit. It doesn't matter how much money you make you get the full benefit. You don't have to give any benefits back. Now, you can draw early. You can draw as early as age 62, but you'll be drawing for more years, so you draw less income. And the way they do that is every month that you back up from full retirement age, you give up about a half a percent uh, of income. So it's about 6% a year. If, if, if Over four years, if your full retirement age is 66 and you draw income at 62, it's about a 25% reduction. So if you're eligible for 2000 a month, it'd be 1500 a month at age 62. But now you can't make over a certain amount of money, and that number's right around $14,000. If you make over that in earned income, you have to give benefits back. But if you're retired, you won't be making more than that in earned income. Remember, your pensions, you know, annuity income, investment income, none of that stuff counts against those numbers. So I get asked all the time, especially if you retire before 66, should I go ahead and start drawing or should I wait? And, uh, you know, the way to look at that is, you know, $1,000 now is is worth more than $1,000 will be worth in three years or four years or 10 years. So you've got to factor in the time value of money. And if you draw at age 62, you're going to be drawing, while it is less, you'll be drawing more, ben- you'll be drawing those benefits for four extra years before the other even starts to kick in to try to catch up. So when you factor in the time value of money, you know, all the financial models that have looked at that. Basically, if you live well into your 80s, you're better off to wait until you're 66. If you do not live until your early 80s and you pass away earlier, then you're better off to go ahead and take it at age 62. Well, what's the problem with that? We don't know when we're going to die. So what do you do? Well, I do think you have to consider longevity in your blood. You know, if you have two parents that lived into their 90s or late 80s, you do have to consider that. And you got to work while you do have to worry about inflation when you're in your mid and late 80s. I'm, I am a big believer in going ahead and taking it. And here's why. Um, you know, it's it's not just about, and you've heard me say this many times, it's not just about the money. It's not about figuring out how you can make the most amount of money. It's about what the money represents and what it's going to provide for you, which is security, financial peace of mind, spending more time with your grandchildren, going on more, you know, traveling, maybe taking up hobbies, whatever it is that you're passionate about that improves your, quali- improves your quality of life, that's what it's about. I mean, the, the printed money is just a bunch of green paper. What does it represent to you? Well, when are you going to enjoy that money more? When you're 64 or when you're 84? So, you know, you, you do want to look at when it's going to serve you best. So I am, you know, a fan of taking it. Now, again, you do have to balance off the longevity in your family. How healthy are you? You do have to think about that. But those are kind of the factors I want you to think through. Now, if... If you're less, if you're not 66 and you're fully retired and to supplement income, you're going to have to draw from your life savings, then I would say even more firmly, you know, you really want to think about going ahead and drawing Social Security because then you can leave your life savings to work for you for a longer period of time and let them grow. Okay. And there's uncertainty possibly with where Social Security and Medicare benefits may be going with the financial challenges we face in this country and with the aging of the population. So hopefully that gives you a few things to think about. And that for this week is our dollars and cents. 